Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easy way how to install Next TV Live TV Player to your Amazon Fire Stick, Android TV, or Google Chromecast. Now, without any further ado, let's see how you can set it up. So, first of all, you have to use an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device. Here it is. And start typing Downloader right here in the search bar. Usually, there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because it already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on Downloader, and that's the app which you need to install to your device. However, after you get the Downloader, it's not over yet, you still have to set it up. And to do so, we'll go to Settings, here they are, scroll down, go to My Fire TV, and here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see now the button that says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to Install Unknown Apps, and here, turn that option on for the downloader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. And here's the downloader application, which we just loaded to Fire Stick or Android TV. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. And in my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they are super fast, we got a great application for Fire Sticks or Android TVs, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In a VPN application, you just connect to any location, let's say you want to connect to United States, and after you connect, from that moment, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted. So your internet provider won't be able to know what apps you are downloading, what videos you are watching, or what websites you are using. And that's extremely important if you want to stay out of trouble online, especially with digital laws getting stricter and stricter every year. And if you are interested in getting a VPN or want to give NordVPN a try, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my promo link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get a great discount and also 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get that offer and now let's use the loader safely. So we open the loader application. And here in that search bar we have to enter a link, you'll see it on the screen in a moment. So the app is going to be app.nexttv.fr. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, because if you make any mistakes, the link is not going to work. And then click on go. Then a website is going to open, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, click on zoom out, and do that two times. Now we can see the whole web page. And basically what you have to do is click on Amazon Fire Stick APK. This option is going to work both for Amazon Fire Stick devices or an Android TV or a Google Chromecast. So click on it and now the app is going to be downloaded to your device. Click on install in the right bottom corner and after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done. Because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file as we do not need it anymore. Click on delete and delete once again. Now let's go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, click on it, then scroll down, and here's the next TV application which we just installed. Now I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, then click on move to front. This way the next TV application is always going to be at the very top of your app list and it will be easier for you to access the app every time you want it. Now, before using Next TV to stream any online content, don't forget to use a VPN to stay safe online and be out of trouble. And then safely open the app. Here you'll see your home screen. For me it says no playlist has been found because I have not added any to the application. In your case, if you want to add a playlist, you simply have to click on that plus button and then click on add playlist. There you can either scan a QR code with your mobile phone, to do so you would have to enter the website of Next TV on your phone and follow the guidelines there. And alternatively you can of course use the extreme code, here you would enter your host link which is provided to you by your service provider, 
then your username and your password, then you click on submit, and this way the playlist is going to be added to next to the application. And alternatively, you can also use one stream system. Here would also enter the link, then the username, password, click submit, and enter your playlist to the application. So that's pretty simple. And then after you add your playlist, you will be able to use those buttons right here at the top. Also, we can go to settings and see what we have here. So you can create a next TV plus account to have more advanced features. That probably can be done on their official website. From here, you can also either refresh all the playlists or add a new playlist to your device. And also here you could review history of your live TV, movies or series. Then you can change some user interface options. Let's say you click on home. And here are all the options which you can change for your application. So we can turn something on or off. And then there's even more options for live TV section. You can see all of them on your screen right now. So whether to change them or not, it's completely up to you. You can customize your experience and use the app the way you want to. If the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button so more people would see it as well. And see you next time. Bye-bye.